Hey, what's going on, YouTube Action Figure Network? Coming at you with another video. Now, I haven't done a review in a long time, but I decided to start off with something new. Now, if you didn't see, this figure was in my largest loose Marvel Legends haul on YouTube, which I'm pretty sure actually is the largest um, loose Marvel Legends haul. And this guy was beat up. He had paint problems everywhere. And he still does in uh, some parts, but uh, I fixed him up. Decent, you know, pretty decent, and yeah, I'm just going to uh, get into the review. Now, I only fixed the parts that I had the paint for, um, and yeah, so uh, the the whole segment that I'm going to re redo is repaint action figure review. And so I thought, what, you know, what not better to start off with a giant man build a figure? So yeah, I won't be going through the whole uh, wave, you know, um, just starting from one figure and then going up to this point, because I did buy them um, loose, and I do have the whole series, but they I have to repaint a couple of figures and fix them up. But this figure is really cool, and since I kind of explained what I'll be doing with my loose figures from now on, if they do need the paint um, cleanups and fix-ups, then I will um, be doing the this uh, segment. But pretty cool overall figure. Let's just get into the figure and the review of this figure anyway. Starting off with a size comparison. Now for a size comparison, just have to zoom out for here. I thought I'd get an average sized Marvel Legend. So I got Iron Fist. Oop, I didn't mean to hit that. We can see just how big Iron Fist actually is towards the giant man character. He goes to about the upper quad or upper thigh part of the, uh, the figure. So you can just see how actual massive, how actually massive this figure is. Now this is a big figure. Um, Galactus is just a little bit taller than him. I know that Apocalypse was the biggest Build-A-Figure, him or the Sentinel, which I still hope to get both. But, uh, yeah, really great size over overall, and this, uh, this definitely works with MSCs, which are multi-scale displays, if you're into articulated comic book art. And, um, it works really well with this figure, like that new Wasp from the Marvel, um, not Legends Infinite series, but the Marvel Universe Infinite series Wasp um, really works good in scale with this figure. So now that we've had a size comparison, let's get into the detail of this figure next. Now for detail, this is what I'll show you what I did. So I did repaint the horns a nice white. Now the reason why I did this was because they were red and they had chipping on them and stuff like that. I don't know if you can see, but at the top right there, there's that little thing and I still got to fix that up. And then I'll just turn them to the side, and I did repaint that, which I don't think looks bad at all. I didn't repaint a total white like I did that. Now, the face is what really um, was bad on this figure. And, I mean, I'm not saying that the person I bought it for cheated me out, because he didn't. But, um, there was, like, black all going through the face, like, you know, like, scratches and stuff like that. And we can see that there's only, like, a little spot which is right here and that's very visible let's see I don't, yeah I was gonna say I don't think that and I keep hitting my camera but um, I thought I did a pretty good job on that um, basically what I did was I got an acrylic paint and basically just touched it up and I'll show you what paint I got when we get into the paint application part of this but really cool he has that kind of just like calm face and then he does have the red suit with that, uh, that, that V basically. And I did repaint this belt as well because it had like black and blue and stuff like that, which I did not like. He has that blue kind of like tights right there, as well as the gloves. And it has the stitching in it. And then we get these blue boots. So yeah, now that we've looked at the detail for the front, knowing that there's not a whole lot of detail that went into this figure, but really good painting, then I will just uh, get onto the back for the detail. Now we really don't have a lot of detail. I showed you what the side of the head looks like, but we get right here, and I'm really not going to fix that up, because I think it looks really cool the way that is. I mean, I might fix that up in that some part. 
but uh, I really do like how that actually looks and the reason why I didn't fix that is because I don't have an acrylic blue paint um, now this was not me actually that was not me that was there way before I did that and I was gonna fix that up when I got a blue but um, I did do the back of the belt as well and I, I tell me what you guys think I mean I, I hope I did okay and then we got the gloves And then we have the boots, and the, there is muscling and stuff like that. It's kind of hard for my camera to pick that up as of now, but there is detailing. And then we get the Gluteus Maximus, but yeah, we just have this awesome uh, paint that went on right here. Uh, not because of me or anything like that, <clears throat> but you know, I did try. This actually was my first um, paint job on an action figure. I will be trying to fix up a kingpin, but whew, that figure is a pain in the butt, literally. Um, I got cramps, no, I'm just kidding, but, uh, yeah, so now that we looked at the, um, detailing for the front and back, let's get into the paint applications next. Now, for paint applications, before I begin with the figure, I'll just show you what I used. Now, if you live or have a local Walmart near you, then this is a pretty good brand. You know, you don't have to buy it in the exact size that I did, because I think they had, like, big... And then this would be the medium, and then I had like these little smaller paints. But I, I had this um, Daler or Dollar uh, Rowney Simply Acrylic White, and then it'll say blank, uh, Blanco, Bianco, which is like the Spanish and stuff like that. And then uh, it tells you right here that it is uh, 2.5 US fluid ounces, I'm guessing really nice this will cost you about 297 for a pretty good sized tube like this um, that's what I used for the belt and for the like little horn things right there but for the skin what I did was I used this cream color and you'll see it It kinda looks like a white but it has that cream to it what I did was I got a little bit and I put it on a plastic plate and I just dabbed it a little on a napkin and I touched it up it took a long time though I'll tell you that but these paints work really well in acrylic and Citadel paints I believe are the best for um, action figures is what I've heard let's just get into it so we can see that he has the white horns which you can barely see because of my backdrop I get a new backdrop guys that's promise but uh yeah and I did paint these and I think they came out very well and then we get this shading on the head which I think is cool we have the blue eyes that kind of uh, flush tone in the mouth we get the V which I think is very nicely painted then we have that perfectly painted belt um, no but actually I did a really good job on the belt and I'm really surprised with myself and then we get to the shoulders and stuff like that where it just has that red and then we get right here where we can see I messed up and I got a little white right there I think we got the blue gloves the blue crotch and the red legs with the black shading in it and then we have these blue boots now I'm really not going to go over the back for paint applications just for the fact that it, this front part took long enough and it's basically the same as the um, back now one thing that I do like and I forgot to mention about the detailing is you're probably not going to be able to see it but right here it says H so I think that's for Hank Pym if I'm correct but yeah so pretty cool so yeah now that we have actually looked at the paint applications for the front and basically told you about what the back is let's get into the articulation of this figure next now for the articulation of this figure he can go down pretty good he can go up as well he can go left and right not really a whole lot but he does have that movement I don't think he can go full 360 so that's unfortunate but he does have this butterfly joint right here and his arms can go out like this but you're gonna have to rotate them if you want them to go like this they do go forward and back he does have this bicep tricep swivel. He does bend at two points at the elbow one two. He does have this um, swivel right here at the forearm. And then he does have um, a wrist uh, movement right here which can go down and up. 
and then he has articulated fingers. So we got one, two, three, four. Ha. Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> the mind, my mind of Action Figure Network. But uh, yeah. So he can go down that far, and up that far, which is really nice. He does have that full 360 articulation movement. Now for the hips, they can go out like that. But you you have to they don't really rotate, but you can go forward and back just a little bit. He does have that upper quad swivel, does bend at two points at the knee. One, two. And then oh man, this figure is just so big. Okay. So he does swivel right here. Does go up and down at the foot. Ugh. Joints are still very stiff on this figure. Does have that ankle rocker, and then he does have individual toe articulation. And the good thing about this figure is that you won't have a problem standing him. Now you will have to position him, but basically with his toe articulation, it really does help out with this figure. So yeah, I had to do this at a different angle with my camera, just because uh, it'd be hard to reach over and uh, kind of, you know, show you the articulation of this figure. But this figure has a ton of articulation. Now I yet have to see a, well let's, yeah, I still have to see a tall, a new Hasbro, like the newer Hasbro figures, um, a Build-A-Figure have this articulation, be this size, and have these clean paint applications. And I say paint applications in that voice because I, painted some of this figure and I feel very proud um it, you know it's a good thing and don't feel kind of scared because I didn't you know you'll probably never get to painting a figure if you do and you really don't want to do that but awesome articulation awesome detailing and sculpting awesome paint applications and great size so now that we've looked at all of those things let's get into the overall review of this figure next giant man the overall review of this figure. Now what can I say? Holy crap, this is one of the best Builder figures I own. I mean, I seriously mean this. Now they say if you do not own a Giant Man, then you are really not a Marvel Legends collector. And now having him personally, I have to say, they're right. I mean, this, this figure is so cool. He goes with the Avengers perfectly, and you know, you can, um, if you have the space, have a really nice Avengers display. Um, now, I believe, if I'm correct, I don't know if they have any corresponding or correlation, but you have like the Bill Foster Giant Man or something like that, and you have just different Giant Man, but I'm, I, I'm pretty sure that this Giant Man is a lot bigger, not a lot bigger, but he is um, definitely bigger than the other, uh, the Marvel Universe ones that uh, work in scale with Marvel Legends. But nonetheless, awesome figure, um, I just, uh, not a description, I always say that. A rating out of 10 will be in the description box below, as well as a link to my uh, previous video where I got this guy in that um, loose Marvel Legends um, haul, and I did get over 100 figures, I counted. I think I got about 120, 130 figures, but yeah, overall just a fantastic figure. Now this is why I wish uh, Toy Biz still made these figures, and uh, I wouldn't have any problem paying uh, twenty dollars for these because you get bank for your buck or buck for your bank or something along the lines of that but yeah just again I also wanted to show you that this is a just kind of a reminder it's the acrylic simply acrylics by Daler uh, Rowney these are 297 at Walmart and if they cost more just tell me to uh, send you a picture if you need it by email or something like that of, you know so you can price match or anything like that but this figure, um, it, it turned out really nice. Now, I will be doing uh, a Kingpin probably next. Not for a review. I f think tomorrow I might be doing an Iron Fist review. It just depends. Either that or the leader um, from the Face Off series. But, yeah, again, thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe. You know, rate this video, like this video, and subscribe to my channel for more. When you subscribe... This allows you to um, see when my videos come out on your YouTube homepage. 
And yeah, just again, thanks for watching, guys. You guys are awesome. I'm at 20 subscribers, and I feel very happy right now. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions on painting and stuff like that, you know, figures, don't be scared. Just uh, comment in the comment box below of, uh, you know, what if you have any questions about it or anything like that. Also, comment in the comment box below of what figure you would like to see me review next, besides Galactus, because i got to paint him up, and i got to paint a couple other figures up. But I'll see, and uh, I might choose from uh, there where what figure I review next. But until next time, guys, you know, still have a great day, and I, I will be uh, posting this, because this was Monday, so I'll be posting this Tuesday. So yeah, guys, just thanks again for watching, and until next time, this is Action Figure Network, signing out.